objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to round off numbers to the indicated place values. Solve problems involving rounding off numbers up to billions. In most situations, numbers don't need to be reported up to the ones, tens, or even the hundreds digit. For example, about how many people are gathered in this rally. When we calculate countermeasure, we round off numbers according to the level of sensitivity that is relevant or necessary. Let's look at some examples. 82 is nearer to 80 than from 90. 82 rounded off to the nearest tens is 80. In rounding off numbers, you'll first need to know to which place value will the number be rounded off. Will we be rounding off to the nearest tens, nearest hundreds, nearest thousands, or hundred thousands? To round this off to the nearest tens, mark the 4. Then look at the digit to the right. It is a 7. Therefore we need to round up. To round this off to the nearest hundreds, mark the 5. Then look to the next digit to the right. It is a 4. Therefore we round down and retain the 5. See how the same number is rounded off to the nearest thousands and hundred thousands. Practice with more examples. Mark the digit in the thousands place. Look at the digit to the right and decide whether you'll round up or round down. Do this next example. Mark off the 9, the digit in the billions place, then look at the digit to its right. Since the 9 becomes a 10, this is actually 89 going up to 90. Can you do the next one? Again, since you were rounding up a 9, so the digit to its left increases by 1. Let's now solve a problem where we will need to round off numbers. To solve this, the first step will be to round off all these figures to the nearest millions. Add up the rounded off figures for deaths and recovered cases. Then subtract this from the rounded off figure for the total number of cases. There are about 19 million active COVID cases at that time. In this problem, we rounded off the given numbers then we perform the operations. In other problems, you may have to perform the operations with the unrounded numbers, and then have the answers rounded off. Remember, identify first the place value at which the number will be rounded off. Mark the digit in this place value, then look to the next digit to the right. If this digit is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then we just retain the marked digit. This is rounding down. If the digit to the right is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we increase the marked digit by 1. This is rounding up. In problem solving, you either round up first then solve, or solve first then round off the result of the computation. The place value to which the answer will be rounded off are often indicated in the problem. Sometimes you'll need to just decide on the most sensible rounding off for the answer.